Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey in the Virtuous Province. The last time that we took off we became the Arena Champion and defeated Smot as well as the others. And that has naturally left us uh, to now finally starting to explore a little bit uh, more. Today we're going to see quite a bit of battles and then I hope that we can progress the storyline here a bit further let's see how far we're getting maybe it's a two-parter but it's essentially kind of uh, the difficult way down here i restocked uh, with our uh, most important resources namely medicine and raw metal armor scraps furthermore um, i have crafted a couple of delicious eel soups in terms of just upgrading i think the most noticeable parts is we finally got a couple of uh, our hands on a couple of uh, belt accessories and i totally fell in love with the fireproof ointment because fire just keeps on spreading and it is so malicious so over time we will uh, go and uh, craft more of uh, these so it's an apothecary recipe and it basically just requires a lot of brandy but we can get there so i want at least all of the frontliners to have that for now um, we crafted another one which is uh, an immunity to bleeding also quite a harsh status but uh, burning like continues whilst bleeding it does not it's not reapplied automatically so i'm just trying to make it less of a pain to basically use this flaming arrow bow and also the torches we got uh, other than that i found an offhand uh, this is cool because it increases our critical chance by 5%. However, it's just a one-use item. So I am not sure if I should actually use it or kind of keep it for harder fights uh, where we just need the crit damage um, and basically use the torch in the meantime. Uh, I'll just try to go without that extra attack. And really, other than that, um, I think I purchased two skills, um, supporting skills, sprint here and here, just so that Zoe and Dilly can move. Plus, I handed in all of our bounties. We've stacked up a few of them. And now it is time for some exploration. This here looks great for exploration. Let me just do that real quick. And afterwards, it's fighty fighty time. Oh yeah, one other thing, I uh, crafted quite a bit, so um, Namri here, remember that we can't like uh, get in and out of the proficiencies, uh, she's now getting her way up to the next level of uh, Blacksmith, which I'm looking very much forward because you can see we've uh, accumulated quite a few knowledge points. Um, you know what? That's a decent trait. You've gained a lot of influence. Okay, cool. Nope. Can we steal stuff? Well, it's not worth it, really. I can't wait for this wedding. Shame this family only has two children. Are you here to congratulate my daughter? She's marrying into. We welcome all donations to her flower crown and the bank. Okay, so this is going to be built on this a wedding. My son. But the disease affecting our crop is a great concern. Couple of donations here, and that's all we were doing. More influence. What? The wedding banquet. Oh, okay, so here we go. We need to help in both cases. We welcome all donations to have. Good. Are you guys now a little bit more willing to talk to me? But the disease affected. Well, apparently not. I can't wait. Shame this family. 
it's now marked off. I'm not sure if you uh, get any uh, bonuses for completing these little side objectives, but I figured it might be a nice way of just progressing the storyline. Wait, um... There are two bounties ahead, so let's buckle down and get this going. Still hoping for some more experience. The experience gain is brutally slow, but uh, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. Time to rob the peasants. Just another day. In our adventure group, I want to play a morally uh, non corrupt uh, playthrough, but that's difficult if the game openly encourages you to do that. So the way that I'm seeing it is we're taking from the rich, giving to the poor. Robin Hood all, all the way. If you wish to buy fabric, I can assure you, ours is of the finest quality. Uh, we don't really need fabric at the moment, so thank you. I appreciate the offer, though. Why? Five years I spent on this tapestry. This masterpiece was supposed to make me famous throughout Ghost. The guard told me to stop looking. They said my tapestry was long gone across the border, likely never to be seen again. There you go, my friend. That's my tapestry. Words cannot ex... You have grained an embroidered handkerchief. What are we going to do with that? Backpack accessory. Without a doubt, the most uh, indictive item in your troop's possession. The striking lace work will make the wearer uh, seem highly respectable. Has a chance that stone item may not be considered stone. Okay. Well, Dilly, um, here's your handkerchief. I, we already knew you were good with the ladies. Now you can wipe away their tears after you steal their little possessions. No log picks left. Well, can't have that, can we? Time for some tinkering. We definitely have a shortage on iron ore because that is used for so many things. But point being, these locks, at least if you have my skill level in trying to open them, typically uh, take one or two uh, of uh, the uh, of uh, the lockpicks, and with that, it's not impossible to not spend any form of uh, resource on them sucks but it is the way it is and we need a lot of uh, resource to smith swift progress now let's get that sweet sweet battle xp and that's a hard fight here we go guys here we go what i noticed the harder fights do not necessarily end up with the greater rewards. You would think like uh, fighting equivalently good uh, enemies uh, or even better enemies would yield you much higher rewards. I figured that is not the case.
Good, so how do we deal with that? JP Pauly could be over here. His run can charge in and actually engage with them. I think that's a fair approach. The other option is equally good, which is like this into who has a run. JP Pauly can run forward and then engage them. So Dilly can start uh, picking these thugs off. Aim into we could hit here and put a lot of mud in there this would not uh, create more mud but this here actually creates a nice little distraction for them good this is uh mud should keep them well aware uh, well away from us Diddy moves all the way over here and shoots that raider back. Mainly crowd control, really. Cool. Mud, by the way, does not interfere with um, your ability to run, which is fantastic. Let's do this. I upgraded the skill so everybody is fast and running, which I think is an absolute powerhouse of a skill if done correctly moves to here gets deflection and we're good do these have aoe attacks no wait yes they do oh and they do have the worst one which is flaming arrow mm. Good orderly, which is great. Uh, Namri and Dilly G have improved their relationship yet again. Moves up here, gets deflection, and we're good. We're going to get a lot of valor soon. about we're starting with that now that's six and that's eight Valor there you go swiftly moving through them First we poison all of you. Oh, it's just a sing uh, single target attack, I see. Uh, 
Um, tell you what. It's not exactly what I wanted. We can't sprint away, so I rather want to make sure that whoever we're attacking goes down. Moves to here. Holy. Now we're talking. Best friend bonus enabled. <coughs> All right, moves up. Can't hit two at the same time, which is a shame, right? Good, we're putting that in place. <coughs> This henchman is going to move further away. Slight move into cover, and we're getting one extra valor. Oh, yeah, he's now taking all the damage we want. Bit of a flanking maneuver. One. Two, three, and whilst you're at it, <laughs> oh yeah, weakening. He's nicely surrounded, and he's likely going to die soon. through the fire I hate that yeah we're taking the second line here that's exactly why you do have a spearman everybody gets fury and some nice extra damage strengthening oil after the hit that's good and i think we're ready the problem the only problem that i'm seeing are archers so as long as we have that under control we should be fine new round is starting not a problem that guy is a problem here to slow down these uh, three fools before moving to here finishing the archer who I said was the problem or a problem And then we're going back for best friend bonus, just so that we have that extra damage. Done. Our damage values are getting absurd, but the mechanics of how most of uh, these fights are going actually start uh, adding up. It makes a lot of sense. So this guy 
is now vulnerable. Going f behind. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 77 points of damage. No way. Best friend bonus activated. There we go. All right. Can something be muddy and burning at the same time i don't know but we're, it seems uh it can this guy is going to die and to be fair we're just staying here definitely m muddy Everybody got protection. I'll just move to here and turn. But we could run over here, get that henchman. Might be the right play. I like the inspiration, that way everyone can move a little bit faster. Alright, end of turn. This guy is potentially going to hit two. Jin spurs everyone with extra damage. Before moving down here, I don't want to pass on burning to anyone else. Well, I could have done it to Namri. Because Namri is de facto immune to burn. Good. This is not the typical triple hit that you would see, but it's nonetheless a good one. Enemy is weakened and in melee combat. Deli moves up, hits and kills. Move up. Big fat kill, and that should end the combat. But it doesn't. For some reason, that guy still wants to fight.
All right, end of turn. Gosh, she's still going, isn't she? Move to here, defend. End of turn. Polly. Moves to here. Defense. End of turn. Moving up. Good. Namri begins to move up. Hits. Uh, why didn't she? Okay. Never mind. Can you pass around? No, you cannot. Okay, well, in that case, here we go. More fire. She's almost down. It's just a matter of time now. Dilly sprints up through the mud. Produces some more mud himself. And finally finishes her. With minimum repairs, but ooh, wow, we got some Corporal's Plate Armor. That is fantastic. And some light armor that might also be an upgrade. So the Corporal's Plate Armor is a massive upgrade. Fifty nine armor. Holy, that is good. Polly gets that armor. Good, we got some light armor, and it is good movement, decent armor. I think Anders needs that one because he's often getting hit. Daily can. Get that armor and Zoe. Gets uh, the Outdoor Tabard, which by the way is really bad armor, but we have nothing better at this point. Cool, that was a fantastic outcome. So looking at the time, I think we can do a double whammy here. We're still ready and able. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Enemies do have uh, leaders protection and they are nicely clustered up around that section. This time we're starting with less vigilance Miss Grell is sitting over here. Enders needs to be in the middle so that we can hit everyone yeah, and I would say 
or engaging with the tank uh, tanks directly from here. Okay. Does he have sprint? No, he does not. Does Skrell have sprint? No, she does not. This is a bit of a suboptimal position, but I think we can still manage. Okay, good. We're starting with tactical orders and cannot reach anyone. That's not good. Couldn't do that from there either. Barely from here. I suppose you can't have it all right so let's start with tactical orders good and let's start with encouragement which is just flat out damage reduction for everyone moving up deflection done Okay, the front line is getting burnt alive. So before we're doing anything, can't really move up in into a great position. His shout only hits three, so I would say Zoe. Gets over here. And starts repaying. We're going to get one Veiler, which is helpful, and Enders can then shout and get our full Veiler bar. Good, starting here, eight Valor. Sprints in. We're hitting all of these guys with a nice little poison bomb. That's a hit and a kill. Triggers Fury and we are positioning lightly behind here and ending the turn. So a couple of things, We're s I want that extra movement speed for everyone, it's going to make it easier. Big fat hit. And just get protection going and we're okay.
I hate fire. We got resist bleeding, but not resist fire. Fortunately, Enders is blocking the way. Move around here and then kind of hide behind there to stab him. Moves up, everybody gets that sweet, sweet extra fury. Didn't want to burn. Oh. We could go side by side. Both of them are anyways burning. And it would free him from being engaged. I think that's the right call. Gives us a Valor as well. And... Wait, wait, wait. Is Paul immune? No, he's not. So might as well do that. Fire gone. Never mind. Uh, fire immediately starts back. I, I'm stupid, of course, when we're standing next to him. Of course, fire is going to burn. Hits all three. In particular, hits that gal and I think we're just moving back Okay, that costs us a bit of uh, val Valor, but overall very nice uh, damage return. Mm, we gotta deal with her first. That's a kill. Good, that's another kill. Done. Next up, Nina. That bomber is a problem. Could kill the raider though. Or that raider. Either way works. Jim uh, gives out Fury for moving all the way over here then hitting the henchman then positioning ourselves over here good we could go for we could go for a kill here. Let's 
Let's start with that. This is why I moved Jim out of the way. Good. That's a fantastic weakening. I like it. And we're in, uh, having end of turn. Yeah, she takes some extra fire damage. That's fine. All right, listen. One. Into two. That's a kill and a good one. Into three. Can't kill the archer. I wish you could just like engage with melee combat uh, against an archer, but yeah, maybe it's fair that way. Tossed over burning. to kill and I don't want to take burning on her so we're just going to disengage moves up she is now surrounded Round is starting. Move up, move through. And that's a kill. Full surround. No more guard, extra damage, and so on and so forth. Very good. Sturdy Hammer with the Annihilation uh, skill. Not as good as uh, the other one, and yeah, we already have a two-handed, uh, two-handed hammer. So let's try to get to the merchants, and then we're camping. There, there, and there. Thank you. We have enough food, uh, so that won't be a problem. Just double checking. Do we need to sell anything? Uh, that belt buckle, I'll just hang on to it. Plus one willpower could be um, proving quite valuable in the right circumstances. Uh, so... I think that's a great ending for an episode. We have had battles and we have had our fair share of fights. Now it's just a matter of um, recovering and uh, progressing the storyline further in the next episode. So let's see what else can we do here. I think we're pretty much okay. By the way, Aoife uh, is joining Murphy in the stables, kind of rekindling their relationship. I like it. A little side storyline. 
Everybody else is assigned to make uh, you uh, make uh, make us happy because one of the things that I learned is influence is an absolute addictive drug. You can buy a lot of it, uh, a lot uh, from it. It uh, helps you uh, through a few side quests, and best of all, it is required for career progression. Ender Sanders and Zoe's relationship have improved. Ender's now like Zoe as well and is best friends with Dilly G and Memory. All right, Captain Ender's is definitely having, uh, keeping up high morale on the team. That's good. Appreciate it. That's what a captain is supposed to do. I wish Joran here at some point would uh, tell me where where he uh, where he would be going like he's uh, the one that we're still escorting and somehow he also eats our food so it would be an absolute pleasure if we <clears throat> if we could uh, finish his quest line as well maybe that will happen the next time there is a free sentinel uh, free the sentinel tower here as well as the trackers we're starting with the trackers and then might uh, do the sentinel tower on top of it but that happens in the next episode thanks so much for uh, tuning in if you enjoy medieval adventures then leave a medieval like and uh, a comment in the section down below see you in the next episode of war tales